Hello, and welcome to Adult Talk. The Dollitarium sent me a box. Let's see what it is. I see strawberry paper. Oh, oh no, it's a bag. It's a little bag. That's so sweet. I like that. I like the way that looks. Alright. And then there are thingies in the baggie. No, I keep these. <laughs> oh god, and I love that your character came through on this. I'm keeping it. I'm putting it with my doll people notes. Okay. Oh! Oh shit! Okay, okay, you... Oh, okay, before I take her out of the baggie, because one of her eyelashes has, has come off, I'm gonna have to reattach it. She sent me a mini! That's why you asked me if I was fancying mini Blythe. You're so nice. I want to take her out of this bag, though, because... I like have to. And she's got her cute little shoes. She's so precious. I love her stock outfit, actually. This is really beautiful. Oh, you guys. How fucking sweet. And this, okay, so this is my very first mini Blythe. And I actually recently I sold all of my Blythe dolls off except one um, and I want to start collecting Takara. Oh she's so pretty. And I'm also kind of like in this craze right now with PVC dolls, Korean designer dolls and stuff like that and um, these fit in that world really well because they're about the same scale and she feels about the same size as like my more dolls and stuff. Oh. Oh, how sweet. Oh my God, this actually makes me really happy that I put this camera up on my shelf real fast and decided to do box opening. <laughs> Cause I was, just, I was honestly just gonna open the box cause I just got home, but I'm so glad I did. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Tori, look, thank you. But there's, there's more in this bag. Okay, so. Sparky paper. Oh, these are like little headbands. How sweet. These are like, or maybe they're supposed to be used for bracelets, but I would use them for little headbands for dolls, and it's like in perfect scale for Mitty and like all of my other dolls that are about the same size. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I love shit that sparkles. Oh, yes. I might put this on something for me. See, that would pop off that really nicely. Oh, that makes me excited. That makes me very excited. Because I, I see the, the, the loop to put it on the chain. Which, that might happen as well. <laughs> this is so cute. Let me see, can I get this to focus? That's, there we go. Cool. This actually might make it onto a chain. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Not that yarn on my nails, but. Yes. 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 I love this. Aww. Yes. There's so much shit in here. How did you manage? Thank you. These are plumes. Plumes? Yeah, I think these are plumes. These are plumes. Blue. This is pretty. This might be an earring. Yes. Is <laughs> this a bag? I think this is a bag. It's a little bag. 
And I think this is also a rag. And it's purple. More feathers. I think I might turn this into a wig. Another package for my thumb. Birthday hat for my thumb. <laughs> I, I'm currently trying to grow my hair back out. Yeah. I'm not sure what this is. I'm really not. But I feel like I'll definitely get some sort of use out of it. With two of these. Where are these? These! I love lace. This is a really nice lace. Another headband. I think these are tags to put on the things that I sell. Because this says right here, please wash me by hand. Which, that's smart. I actually just had somebody text me today, as a matter of fact, and ask me if they can put their crocheted hat that they bought for me in the washing machine. You can, if it's just a regular beanie, because I have sold some like just standard regular beanies. They don't have anything sewn to them. If it's something that it's got ears sewn onto it, lace sewn onto it, um, it's stuffed, hand wash it. Do not put it in the washing machine and hand wash it with cold water and gentle squeezes. Don't go in there and go ballistic because then what you'll do is you'll you'll felt down the hat and you'll lose all the really nice stitch definition. And air dry. Do not put it in the dryer. You will ruin the hat. This is good. Thank you. Thank you so much the Dollarium because now I, I don't know why I didn't think about doing this. Why didn't I think about doing this? I've handwritten instructions to some people, but I don't do it with every sale because I do work and I'm not always thinking about it. But having something that's already pre-made so that I can just put it on the hat and send it with it is so smart. <laughs> socks! I love getting socks for dolls because I'm way too lazy to actually make socks eyes and I'm certain these are eyes for Pulip because they're they're a little too small for Blythe yeah they're a little too small for Blythe which means these are probably 12 millimeter 13 millimeter maybe eyes good because I actually have in the soul that I've been meaning to sell because I love him but something's off and I think it's its eyes his eyes are they have no depth like, I like Blythe stock eyes because even though they're stock, they've got depth. Buttons! Is this a wig or is this just like the raw stuff so I can make a wig? It's a wig. Did you make this wig? I always look on the inside. It's really nicely made on the inside and it's elastic. Oh, this is so nice. He looks so good in this wig. Okay, so I'm biased to the crazy hair because I like messy hair and this smells good to me. I'm not sure what this is. More baggies. Yes, she collects stickers. She sent me stickers. How nice. The Dollarium collects, is it stickers? It's stickers, yeah, it's not stamps. It's stickers, she collects stickers. I know a lot of people that collect stamps. A lot of people collect stamps. But thank you. That, I know that this is sweet because this is something that you really like doing. So I love when people give me a little piece of themselves. That's so sweet. The last but not least, fabric! I've got bad lighting, guys. I'm sorry about that. Is this sparkly tool? That's pretty. This is nice. Like, nice, nice. I don't really know what else to say. <laughs> so I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Or maybe I'll put this in the next video. Bye, y'all. <laughs> yeah, she sent me a box and 
it contained the sweetest little mini blaze. Um, I, I had to show you guys that. Like, I hate just throwing the phone up like that in shitty lighting and stuff and taking videos, but I had to because the box felt heavy and I also didn't want to like miss a moment. Alita, the Dollitarium, thank you so much. You did not have to send me anything, really. <laughs> like, you didn't need to send me anything. But the fact that you did and you cared so much to express so much kindness toward me just, it warms my heart, it warms my soul, it does. And now, this, like, she will be special forever. So, I want to show you guys some dolls. Firstly, I want to show you, okay, so naturally she got redressed. Um, I looked up who she was, ooh, and I'm, I'm blanking on her stock name because she is official from Takara. I'll, I'll leave it down here somewhere. But here she is. I've, I've redressed her. I made her this little romper thingy last night while I was you know, winding down for the night, I made her this. And I ran out of snaps, which sucks. I had to do a button and ran out of snaps. Um, and then she fits into Barbie shoes, which is super sweet. Some random fashionista Barbie shoes that I um, have painted. Not well, might I add. <laughs> but here she is. And this is what I was trying to show you guys on camera last night. She does move her eyes side to side like Tulip. Oh, I just love her so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hassle free dolls, I guess. They're not necessarily cheaper because they're still pretty expensive, just like BJD. Um, but they bring me a different kind of happiness. Like, I still have my BJD and stuff. I'm still going to collect those. And I actually have one coming in soon. And I just got the shipping notification for it, So I'm super excited about that. That would be my Villa Tunes Mimi Chew. And, oh my god, I'm so excited. She's yellow. I, I'm super excited. There's another girl that I got recently that I have named Alexa. I finally had to do this. I had to do this. I went and got myself a Kiki Pop. This is the one from A-Zone, not the original Kinoko Juice. I had an original Kinoko juice that I went through hell and high water to get um, back on my Flickr days, but I had to get rid of her life. And ever since I got rid of her, I've wanted a, a Kiki Pop, which is a vinyl version from A-Zone. And she's just as sweet as I remember my Kinoko juice being. And I will go back and get another Kinoko juice. And I named her Alexa after one of my local doll group friends. She's, she just reminds me so much of Alexa and I love her so much. <laughs> Both Alexa and this Alexa. So there she is, she's so sweet, oh my gosh, so sweet. I love this doll's eyes. Um, this is, I did not do this face up. This face up was an original from her stock. And I might customize her. I might, but it might not be anytime soon because I've got commissions to get finished and I just actually, I actually really like her stock. <laughs> you have seen the last video that I did where I repainted my M's doll in ZZM. Um, I don't know, I really don't know how to pronounce that company, but she's super sweet. Neptune is super sweet. And the day after I uploaded that video, I got another little lady, not by M's or in ZZM. It's actually this girl here. I repainted her. She's a little nervous baby, she's like, super duper nervous she needs to hold everybody's hand and she's like very sweet but different different from the way I've 
painted most of my other dolls in the sense that she's not like this super happy baby like she's happy but she just she needs her her friends to be around her to make her a little bit more at ease and she likes to hold my hand and she's super sweet and i've named her neko like um cat in japanese i believe neko yeah little neko she's so cute she's so cute i'm actually really happy to have an hachichi doll because when they first dropped, this was the first one I had ever seen, the tan one. And I was like, oh, I want that. And I set my clock and everything. I, like, I was dedicated to going in and purchasing. I loaded the page and it said out of stock. And it kept doing that constantly because they've released a few now. And every time I go in to order from their official site, from Instagram, it says I stock. Even if it's like minutes, because they have countdowns in their story on Instagram, minutes, and it just I stock. So I haven't been fast enough. But I found this girl on eBay for pretty decent because they can be inflated. Like they want like two hundred dollars for them, but their stock is eighty five dollars. Like, if you buy them from the company, you're only going to be paying $85. So they're not necessarily super expensive. They're cheaper than, than an American Girl doll. So, but on the secondhand market, because they sell out so quickly and because they're limited and they sell out quickly, people obviously want to inflate the price. And they're not super inflated like Blythe and Olala, but they're inflated enough where it kind of turns you off from wanting to buy one. But she was up for an inflated price and I did a buy, uh, not buy it now, um, I did a, a offer on eBay and they were like, sure, and the offer was the exact price that you would have paid before shipping for one on the site. So I was like, yay, lucked out. And I repainted her the day I got her. The day I got her. I, I, I just had to, she's so sweet. I want to show you guys this guy. You've probably seen him before. He's not new. He's been in a drawer for a while and actually went up for sale briefly. This is my Asul that I really do love. I have always liked him, which is why he's lasted longer than all my Taiyang and all my Pulits. He's the only one in. But I did want to change his wig. He's gone through a few wig changes and this is a new wig for him. And the problem that I was having was I needed to find him some nice, beautiful blue eyes. But all the shops that I was finding on Etsy, I didn't really like the eyes. I just I just didn't like them. They were big and beautiful and realistic, but I didn't like them. But these eyes are actually from the Dollarium, and immediately seeing them, I thought, oh, so yes. So here they are, and he moves his his. Uh, side to side, just like knitting. But yeah, like there we go. And it just fits him so much better. And he's got his curly wig and some glasses that are way too big, but that's okay. And he's dressed for the season in his little fall gear. And I'm happy with him now. I I'm really happy with him. I don't even think I'm gonna go in and customize them like I thought I was going to. I came across this little head at one of me and Corey's favorite stores it's called Book Off. I don't know who he is. I haven't seen the anime he comes from, but I was drawn to him. And I've seen these, these figure before. They're like this big, I wanna say. And they come on these teeny, 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 tiny bodies and they're like in shibi form. And I've always thought they were super sweet, but I've wanted to put them on articulated bodies, but not the 11 centimeter Obitsu body because it's too childlike. Like whenever I see an anime face, I like for the body to be realistic. I like that mix, um, which is why I've been looking at smart dolls so much more lately. Like, and 
Dolphy dream. Like, I want an MDD so bad. That's going to have to happen at some point. But I, I found this little head. And I put him on a Fig Art, SH Fig Art body con body and it's the pale orange version and he didn't have this streak of purple i added that streak of purple and he fits on this body perfectly like the skin match is pretty spot on yeah and his name is shuichi um named after one of my favorite gravitation characters gravitation is a uh, bl anime that i used to watch way back when and still watch to this day. Um, this isn't Shuichi Shindo. This actually isn't how Shuichi looks, but the energy he's exuding reminds me a lot of Shuichi, where he's like childlike, and sweet, but he's also like really cool and talented and stuff. So I'm really happy about that. Because the head that was on here kind of was giving me the same vibes, but the head was too small. It was proportionate to the body. Um, and I like big headedness and yeah, this just does it. It's perfect. I'm gonna include some pictures. So, yeah, that's it.